The day is finally here. It's finally here. We just got to the movie theater for our early showing package of The Last Jedi. Kyle ran in the house. Now, of course, I can't bring this in, by the way. This is the Disney Parks exclusive Kylo Ren Saber. You actually, um, you can bring the Saber in, um, but you can't ignite it inside. Um, but the thing, I, I, you can't bring the helmet in, that's for sure. You can bring it in, but you can't wear it. This outfit that I have, and I wore this when we were in... Um, St. Augustine the other day. I'm looking for help from the ghost sitting next to me. Um, this is a Muster or Mooster brand sweater, by the way. Um, I believe it's called like the Knights of Wren or Wren sweater. But getting back to this awesome saber, the one really cool thing about this, again, you can ignite this. And I showed this in the store last week when we were at Hollywood Studios. So the really cool thing about this saber, besides it being inside this Kia, um, is that the blade just came out. So this is a full hilt. The hilt is gorgeous, by the way. This is very hefty. It's made out of metal, the best I could see. There's certain parts that are kind of a little bit more plasticky. But the blades unscrew, both from the sides and from the top. You got this awesome wire that's independent of the structure that runs down. Um, and, you know, obviously it's not going to ignite when the blades are not in there, but very cool because you could take this and it comes with a wall mount um, for the saber with the blades in it or a desk mount where it'll just kind of sit like this on the desk. Or you also get this belt clip so you can wear it cosplay with out the blades on it on your belt. So there you go. Attaches right to your belt. And now officially, Kyle Ren is in the house. There's lines already. People waiting, playing games. Oh, we have assigned seats. What is this? Merchandise? We've got all kinds of like goodie bags and stuff out here. They have a bunch of different things for sale here too. Including hats. And a plush stuff, pops, and we got two different drinks. Revenge of the Sip, which is a tequila drink, and a Blue Hope, which is vodka. It's official. It's the opening night. You know how it's official? Because there's a cardboard sign here. Those are the rules that we live by. So, these are the drinks again. We got the Blue Hope with Crystal Head Vodka and Revenge of the Sip with Tequila Patron. These are what the drinks look like in real life. Yeah, yeah. And how many times did it happen in 10 years? The Force is really good, but it tastes like I probably it's a little pressure. bit weak. The Force is a little bit weak with the good guys. Or not a lot of vodka in there. Revenge of the and Sip. I do, uh, well, especially I do it with apple. Like in other words, much better. You're right. Actually, it's really a much better drink. I feel like it's I am because the apple puts it. Like this is the like line now for popcorn <laughs> or drinks. You get a free popcorn with our ticket. This is nuts. So we're waiting on the line now. Campbell, what is your optimism for this movie? What is your psyched up level now? We are 10 minutes away. Uh, it's. It's where it's generally been. I'm very excited about uh, all the new episodes. It's not as good as the original George Lucas stuff, but I'm very excited about this and so on. And you? I'm excited. I am very excited. <laughs> you can tell. Is there one particular shocking moment that you think may happen? This is not a spoiler because we do we have not read anything. We're all gonna get rabies. <laughs> By the way, look at Jess's shirt. I love it. Jar Jar is my spirit animal from Celebration this year. It's not this year. It was from 
LA. 2015. Yes. What is your one spoilery, what is your one shocking moment? Raised parentage. Okay. That's exactly what we were just talking My one shocking moment would be Kylo's face turn in this movie. That he becomes I just a hero. See how those bandages work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the bionic bandages. <laughs> Three hours later. So the movie is over. Two and a half hours later, we um, do not have a large soda if you're watching that movie. So the first thing that I could say is thank God for the porks. Oh my God. Porks. I love the porks. What did you think of the movie? I thought it was amazing. Did you? Out of five? It still didn't answer one question. Oh, wait, we're not spoiling it here. Answer, no, yeah. I'm just saying it still didn't answer a question. Out of five? Yeah. 4.75? Your eyes are all red like a Sith. <laughs> it was the drink. I'm legit was so cute. I'm my eyes. And Jess, what did you think out of five? Five. Five out of five. Everything is five out of five lately. And Campbell, out of five, first blush? Uh, let's say four. But it's gonna go up to five. I mean, <laughs> there's so many great things, but there's enough that that I question, but overall, great, great fun. Yeah. Great, great fun. I'm sorry. Pork, 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 pork. Pork, 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 pork. <laughs> I like it. I like it. There is a, like a character. There is a uh, there is a great deal to like about that movie. There is a good deal that I did not like in that movie, and I am not going to get into spoilers in this video. But I would say overall, like a, probably a four and a half out of five. I really enjoyed that movie. Very cool. So we'll talk more in a bit. Post meal Denny's. All right. So we ate. Uh, Okay food at Denny's. Denny's. And now we are off to see the movie again. The first time we saw it, we saw it in Dolby, which was amazing. The sound and picture clarity was great. We're going to see it in a regular format this time. Um, because we went to the early uh, showing fan thing, the fan event, um, we got to see like kind of like six minutes worth of uh, John Williams talking about how he was doing a score for the movie. So that Plus was Ryan Johnson doing it yeah, later. That's yeah. true. But it wasn't anything essential that you were going to miss. I'm sure it'll end up as a bonus feature on the Blu-ray at some point. Yeah, only a target. <laughs> um, but, you know, it was cool. Um, I, you know, every one of these movies, I really hope that John Williams is going to make it to the next movie so that we can have a score because I'm not sure I want to see the end of the saga with somebody else taking over. Can you imagine, like, Danny Elfman? Whimsical. I hear you, but my first impression of this one was still not as impactful as the previous, the first episodes one through six. True. Oh yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. And in fact, I didn't even notice huge themes like the Rays theme and just a lot of neat references and true adaptations of older themes. All right, we're going back in. So I just noticed that AMC, they have the branding here. that You're kind of supposed to be able to walk through the door, but they don't have that set up. Here's Kylo Ren. We've got Evil Luke, maybe. Phasma. Hux is very small there. And on this side, we have Good Luke, maybe. Ray. Poe is deep in thought. So, this is it. Alright, well, that was two viewings complete. It was really tough to stay awake in some parts during the second time, not gonna lie. Um, we'll head home, give a couple final thoughts. But I am exhausted. That's like five solid hours of Star Wars here. All right, we're back home. Uh, it is almost three o'clock in the morning after two screenings that started at six o'clock at night. Just a little tired, but a couple of uh, last thoughts here. Um, I like the movie. I really want to say I love the movie, but I will be honest. I love parts of the movie. I don't love the movie in its entirety. Um, but what I mean by this is that there are storylines that are really awesome and fun to watch. And there are storylines that I think are uh, superfluous. They don't need to be there. Um, and they're there for the sake of we've introduced characters in The Force Awakens um, that needed to continue on into this movie. And again, without getting into spoilers, because I'm not going to do spoilers here, I will do a spoiler video uh, review with some really 
uh, in-depth thoughts either tomorrow or the following day. Um, but without getting into spoilers, um, I think they've really painted themselves into a box um, with uh, characters like um, Poe Dameron. And for those that don't know from The Force Awakens, Poe was not intended to live beyond that movie. Um, so we have the need to develop storylines to supplement Poe and his ongoing um, character arc, as well as Finn, um, as well as some others um, that um, I, I think if Poe wasn't in the picture, other storyline arcs would maybe not need to exist in this film. And that's not giving away a spoiler here. Um, that's just thinking that um, there's a lot going on. And I think in prior Star Wars movies, whether uh, you know it was the prequels or the original trilogies, I mean, especially the original trilogies more so than the prequels, um, or both together for that matter, um, the movies were always at their best when teams were involved. So you always had an individual journey um, going on in those movies or, or multiple individual journeys, but for the most part, everybody else acted collaboratively as a team and you rooted for the team to get together and, and finish things. Um, and that's kind of where um, stories went. I think it gets very difficult when you have so many individual streams that you need to take care of in a film um, and then have everything tie back together again. Um, because I don't think that the one thing, well, I think the one thing that may be missing from this film is an overall kind of rah, rah um, team. You know, we worked as a team. I mean, even in The Empire Strikes Back, when it doesn't end on such a positive note, um, it still ended with the team being together. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling because it's 3 o'clock in the morning. But I did enjoy a lot of the performances. Mark Hamill I thought was phenomenal. I really enjoyed Carrie Fisher in this movie. Um, Benicio Del Toro, without giving away his character, I thought is a scene stealer and show stealer. Adam Driver is great. Um, Daisy Ridley is great. Um, you know, there are a lot of strong performances in this movie. It's a little difficult to not get into everything without getting into spoilers and please do not leave spoilers in the comments below um, i do not want to have folks have this movie spoiled for anyone that has not been able to see the movie this is a holiday movie that's intended to be seen throughout the month of december and into january so please do not leave comments on spoilers here i will put up a spoiler video at another time and you guys can go ahead and comment away in that video with your thoughts on spoilers but for now, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to get to editing this thing, so that's up for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this lightsaber now. Um, thank you very much for coming along with us. Thank you very much for all of your likes, and your comments, and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. You have failed me for the last time.